against your old team. Uh, there's a lot, of, a lot of emotion in that game. Definitely you know, some extra motivation, I think, across the board for all of us on this team. You know, just wanting to win that game for Nate. Let's get it, man. It's game time. We're going to talk. We're going to talk. Once again, got off to a good start. You know, an eight-minute drive. We've got a big play on play three. You know, Nate hitting Travis on the on the little back shoulder fade route. Then it was just kind of good and methodical all the way to the end zone. Here's a play action pass, Ketteringham pass, caught, pretty boy Cloyd, touchdown North Dakota. Ketteringham to Alex Cloyd, and North Dakota strikes first. The guys up front, all credit to them, I think that's that's where it starts on the football team, and they're working all all game, allowing us you know, to get to the second level and break those long runs. The Manitoba Moose is loose to the 20, the 15, the 10, the five, touchdown. And then unfortunately in the first half we had a couple of mistakes that didn't allow us to continue with that momentum. We had some mistakes. It definitely wasn't our cleanest game by far. There was about everything that went as wrong as it could go and we just kept staying in there and kept battling and I think we had a bunch of guys that didn't panic. They knew Hey, we're doing things right here. We just got to protect the football. There's some good leadership there. I think there's enough guys that have played enough football now and and they know that, hey, we, we, can, we can buckle down and, and let's go. Ketteringham to pass, got time. Going to air it out, going downfield, wide open, downfield. North Dakota's Wanzig. Wanzig dives towards the pilot. Clapper down a little bit of time, runs out. He doesn't see Tex and Turner. And Turner from behind just took his right arm like a two by four and crushed the quarterback, Clapper. Ketteringham tossed, guess who? Johannesson, Johannesson buries his head. Then he breaks free in midfield. 45 to the 40, 35 to the 30, stiff arms a defender, and he's down inside the 30 yard line. Freight train James. Well, this was the most explosive we've gotten in the run game. You always tell our guys, hey, those four yard runs will turn into six yard runs. And you just got to keep wearing on them and keep the sticks moving, make sure they have to tackle you. And, you know, when you're tackling a 240 pound guy, man, that hurts after a while. We got the workhorses like Brady and James are just going. Going beast mode the whole game. And here comes Freddy Alabara, and he breaks a tackle, and he's shoving a hornet. He's shoving a hornet. He's on the five. His legs are still moving. He's towards the end zone. He's in the end zone. The Manazova Moose just pushed an entire hornet line. And I remember looking at the end zone and seeing, you know, I'm, all, I'm almost there. You know, guys are, are holding on to me. I never wanted to touch on so bad in my life. And then Brady, Brady carrying like four or five people in the end zone. It's just fun watching that and just knowing that you got guys like that on your team. Big tribute to our O-line and our tight ends and fullbacks and that uh, They've done a really nice job of when people are twisting and moving, adjusting. Our old line kept winning up front and tight ends, wide receivers are all blocking great and I think it just showed in the second half, runs started to spring open. Here's the pitch to James and he's got a big hole and he's out the 20. 25 to 30, 35 to 40, he's at midfield. Johannesson might go, he's at the 30, the 25, the 15, the 10, the five, touchdown, freight train James. I haven't ran like that for a while and uh, I had to make a stop to the garbage can after that. Go throw up on the track. That was pretty funny. You get to watch James kind of chugging along a little bit, choo-choo, and then going to the trash can and puking out there. I was laughing pretty hard. Everyone was giving me crap for it, I mean, which is expected. It's all fun. Explosive runs, change in field position, explosive runs for scores. and You know, it really gave our team a lot of confidence, and I think it wore on our opponent a bit. It felt amazing, you know. No one wants to go on a three-hour flight in the middle of the night uh, you know, losing, so it, that lightened the mood up a lot. Well, we want to enjoy victories. We think it's hard to win football games, and uh, it should give us some confidence, but once again, after that night and after Sunday, we got to be over that game and move on to a very important game in our schedule, you know, and we've worked hard to get to this point, so we sure want to do a good job of preparing well, physically, mentally, and then you know, emotionally, we got to be ready at 2 o'clock Saturday afternoon. To the sideline, let's stretch, let's get ready to go. Let's go, let's go. Got to get ready to go, come on, let's go. Since the first time we played Weaver about uh, four years ago or five years ago, whatever it was, I, I've had a lot of respect for their football program. I think they, uh, I think they play defense the way you like to play defense. Their guys, they hustle, they, they get up off the ground, they run to the ball. It's an extremely well-coached team. They're very solid, they're very disciplined. And then they've got good players to go along with it. We are similar in philosophies, more similar than some of the other teams we play, but we're still different enough that uh, we have to adjust. But I really think it comes down to 
Who's going to execute the best? Watching them on film, they look definitely physical, but I feel like they haven't played a team like us where we run, run like we dominate with the run. So it's going to be a fun matchup to watch with uh, our physicality and their physicality. You know, we have to keep doing what we're doing on offense, you know, keep grinding, uh, running the ball. It may be tough sliding at first, but I don't, I just, I don't, I think they'll just get sick of tackling, you know, they'll get sick of tackling and eventually you'll start breaking those runs. We've got to have a really, really solid week of preparation and, and then play some of our best football of the year to earn a positive result. I can see in your eyes you're thinking it. <laughs> They're a highly ranked team, so we get them at home and in front of our home crowd. And this would be a big win for our program and a big win for our season this year. And we're just going to focus on our preparation at this time to keep momentum going and help us in this season. Weber is obviously going to be a great opponent. Uh, you know, they're in the in the top ten in the country, and you know, I feel like. You know, these are the games that you live for. If you're a true competitor, you know, you want to play in the big games. You want to play against the best. You know, that should get everyone hungry. You know, here we go. It's Weber State Week, and this is going to be a tough physical football game because that's the way those guys are. Um, let's hope that we've got all of our uh, arsenal in place if we can, and here we go.